when 2014 we published a paper called uh, Reversal of Cognitive Decline, uh, a Novel Therapeutic Approach. Um, and the point of this um, was to address a major problem in the treatment of chronic illness, and in this case, cognitive decline, ultimately leading to Alzheimer's. So these were people who had pre-Alzheimer's conditions such as subjective cognitive impairment uh, or uh, mild cognitive impairment or had early Alzheimer's disease. And the point is that these complex chronic illnesses um, have been treated for years uh, with monotherapies, uh, uh, single pills. <clears throat> And if you actually look at the pathophysiology of these illnesses, uh, they are actually quite complex. Uh, and so the point of this was to evaluate people uh, to essentially close the uh, complexity gap, as it were, look at many different parameters, biologically, biochemically, genetically, and then to address uh, all of these. So we would uh, tell the patients, for example, that uh, this disease is a little bit like patching 36 holes in a roof. Um, if you have a single pill, it patches one hole, but it doesn't help you that much. So the idea was, um, let's go at this by patching all the 36 holes. And this would include altering things like uh, biochemical status, for example, of ketogenesis having a mildly uh, ketotic state, which has been shown for uh, by a number of mechanisms um, to improve uh, cognition, uh, to include things uh, like uh, exercise, to include things like specific times of fasting, but also specific uh, supplements. And the idea is that going forward, this would be the rest of a program that could be very helpful for testing drug candidates as well. Uh, we may be asking our drug candidates in these complex illnesses to do too much. We may be asking them to have hit many different mechanisms of these diseases when, in fact, they do very well with hitting one mechanism. And that therefore, if we can fill in the others, then uh, we can have a much better results. And so um, the results that were achieved were unprecedented. Uh, people had not seen reversal of cognitive decline in Alzheimer's and pre-Alzheimer's conditions previously. Um, we've continued with this. We actually have now have several hundred people on this protocol. The protocol itself has evolved over time um, so that we've added new pieces uh, and looking more at specific uh, mechanisms that, that we didn't know about at the beginning. Um, and we've continued to have uh, uh, very exciting and unprecedented results. Subsequently, we have uh, published also in aging that if you look at these uh, many different biochemical parameters, you can see that, in fact, what we call Alzheimer's disease uh, has several different subtypes um, that are easily distinguished by looking uh, more deeply at these different biochemical profiles. And in fact, it turns out that these different subtypes are optimally treated by different programs. We've also found that there is a new subtype, which we call type 3, um, that is related to specific exposures. Uh, again, something that had not been recognized previously. Uh, with that, you actually have to include in the treatment uh, a reduction of that specific exposure after identifying what it is, and there are several possibilities. Um, so this has continued to be something that has given us unprecedented improvement. We did publish a follow-up in 2016 showing improvements in hippocampal volumetrics, um, improvements uh, in uh, quantitative neuropsychological testing uh, to provide additional support uh, with the idea that this approach actually has been uh, quite helpful for people with cognitive decline. We've had now over 5,000 uh, emails uh, and phone calls about this approach to Alzheimer's and pre-Alzheimer's conditions.